Ever wondered why you can't seem to peel your eyes away from Google's products? It's not by accident, but rather a meticulously crafted design strategy that taps into the very fabric of human psychology. We're not just talking about aesthetics, but a blend of psychological principles that make Google's products so engaging that they're nearly addictive. Consider this. Google has become synonymous with search, Gmail with email, and Google Maps with navigation. This dominance isn't just about being the first in the market, but about understanding what keeps us, the users, coming back for more. From the lure of simplicity to the power of familiarity, and the irresistible pull of the reward system, Google's design strategy is a masterclass in user engagement. So, how exactly does Google do this? What are the psychological principles at work here? And most importantly, why are we so susceptible to this digital charm? Hold on to your seats as we unravel the psychology behind Google's addictive design. Google's design is as simple as it gets, but is simplicity the only bait? When we dive into the world of design, we find that simplicity is not just an aesthetic choice, but a powerful principle that guides user experience. It's the mantra, less is more, brought to life. Google, in its wisdom, has harnessed this principle to its advantage, creating a user experience that is straightforward, intuitive, and yes, addictive. Let's take Google's search engine interface as our first example. It's just a logo, a search bar, and two buttons. No ads, no clutter, just the bare essentials. This simplicity invites us in, it doesn't overwhelm or intimidate. It's like walking into a clean minimalist room. There's a sense of calm, a sense of order. You know exactly what you're there for and how to do it. It's the same with Google Docs. We've all been there staring at that blank page, ready to type out our thoughts, our stories, our reports. Again, it's a clean interface, no distractions, just you and your words. The tools you need, text formatting, inserting images, adding comments, they're all there, but they don't intrude. They're like helpful assistants waiting in the wings, ready when you need them. This simplicity isn't just about aesthetics, it's about functionality. It reduces cognitive load, making it easier for us to process information and make decisions. It's like having a clear path in a forest. You don't have to worry about tripping over roots or getting lost. You can just enjoy the walk. And that's the beauty of Google's design. It's simple, but it's not simplistic. Every element serves a purpose. Every choice is intentional. It's a design that respects our time, our attention, our cognitive energy. So yes, simplicity is a powerful bait. It draws us in, makes us feel comfortable, and helps us do what we need to do with ease. But Google doesn't just rely on simplicity. There's more to its design strategy, more reasons why we keep coming back, keep using its services, keep getting hooked. So, Google's simplicity reels us in. But, what makes us stay? Do you ever feel a sense of comfort when using Google products? That's no accident. Our brains are wired to seek out the familiar. It's a survival instinct, an automatic response to the world around us. It's why we're drawn to the faces we recognize, the places we've been, and yes, even the apps and websites we use. This is the power of familiarity. Google taps into this psychological principle with a keen understanding. Take Gmail, for instance. If you've been using it for a while, think about its interface. It's clean, simple, and consistent. Whether you're checking your emails on a laptop or a smartphone, the layout remains largely the same. The labels are all in the same place, the buttons perform the same functions, and the overall design is immediately recognizable. This consistency creates a sense of familiarity. And it's not just Gmail. Google Maps, another widely used Google product, also leverages the power of familiarity. Whether you're navigating the streets of New York or the lanes of a small town in India, the user interface remains the same. The same colors denote roads, the same symbols mark places of interest, and the same layout is used to display information. This consistency again breeds familiarity. Familiarity in turn breeds comfort. When we're comfortable, we're more likely to stick around. We're less likely to seek out alternatives. It's like having a favorite chair at home. Sure, there are other chairs, but that one, the one you always sit in, it's just right. It feels like it was made for you. And that's what Google does with its design. It makes you feel at home, comfortable, and less inclined to look elsewhere. This is a powerful tool in Google's arsenal, subtly influencing our behavior to keep us engaged and loyal to their products. Familiarity breeds comfort, and comfort breeds loyalty. But there's more to Google's addictive design. Ever felt a surge of satisfaction when using Google? That's Google's reward system at play. Now you might ask, what is a reward system? Well, it's a psychological principle that influences our behavior. 
When we perform an action and receive a reward, we're more likely to repeat that action. It's a simple yet powerful concept. Let's take a look at Google's search engine. You type in a question or a phrase and voila, you're presented with a page full of relevant results. That instant access to information is the reward. The more accurate the results, the greater your satisfaction. And that satisfaction? That's your brain releasing dopamine, a feel-good neurotransmitter, giving you a mini high. This is why we find ourselves constantly turning to Google for answers. Now consider Google Photos. You click a picture, and it's automatically organized by location, people, or events. It's like having a personal assistant for your memories. The convenience and ease of finding your photos when you need them, that's your reward. In essence, Google uses this reward system to keep you hooked. It's not always about the big things, it's the small, consistent rewards that keep us satisfied and coming back for more. So, the next time you feel that rush of satisfaction when using Google, remember it's all part of the plan. With a reward system in place, Google keeps us coming back for more. So there you have it, the psychology behind Google's addictive design. We've delved into the lure of simplicity, making products easy to use and understand. We've explored the power of familiarity, keeping us comfortable and engaged. And we've uncovered the reward system, incentivizing our continued use. Next time you find yourself glued to a Google product, remember, you're playing right into Google's expertly crafted psychological game. What are your thoughts on this? Share in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing insights.